Welcome back to the last episode. Door opens and Uncle rushes into the house. Soon after, Leah typed the password. Uncle pauses only to see the situation there. The young is tied to a chair and Adam is stood a step away, pointing his weapon at the young man. Janko yelled, you freaking heck, I'm gonna freaking kill you. Janko shifted his gaze to Adam with full laugh and Galia ran to the hang to untie him from the chair as Adam concentrated turning to Janko. Once again, Adam turned to the hang when he realized Leah untied him. He pointed his weapon back to the hang's direction. Jungkook took his weapon out, uh, pointing at Adam's hand, which was stretched forward with the weapon suit, uh, a male voice suit, uh, a female voice. A bullet came from Jungkook's weapon. He turned Adam's hand as he was about to press the trigger, but Adam pressed the trigger already. The force of Jungkook's bullet on Adam's hand diverted his hand's direction to Leah, who stood beside the hung Adam's bullet landed on to Leah's head. The next second, both Adam and Leah fell down on the ground with bullets in their bodies. Jungkook ran to Leah to check her a bullet on her head. Red liquid flowing, she is losing her consciousness. Meanwhile, Thang ran to Adam, who is shouting in pain due to a bullet in his hands. He did and put siren. After 10 days, this is the day when Thang gonna attend his first exam of the final year. Jungkook drove him to uni and kissed him with good luck. Wishes as Thang walked to to take the exam for the final year, Jungkook dropped back to the, his office. Jungkook's office was shifted to the upper floor and he told of old office was turned into a storeroom, a room where all those grateful things stored. Good morning, sir. Lija waited as usual, sitting in front of the Jungkook's new cabin. Morning. Good morning, Jungkook wished back any information about from the hospital, Jungkook as he entered the cabin. No sir, Leah is still in coma, Leah replied, okay, let me know if there is any information from the hospital. Jungkook said, see you sir, and here Clever requested to meet you, do you want to meet him sir, Leah asked, let him inside my cabin after the meeting. With that, Jungkook went inside the cabin. The meeting was over. Now, Jungkook was sitting behind his table with Hyuk at the other side of the table. Sorry for everything my brother did, Hyuk said. Jungkook nodded. Actually, he, his boyfriend, Jiwon, would die in an accident a few years back. He became a stubborn guy after that, getting everything he wants. At first, I thought he is upset about his loss and he may go back to normal soon, but later we got to know that he started suffering from mental issue, but he refused to take treatment, you said. When he saw you two years back, he saw Jiwon in you. He tried to explain to you to himself that you are not Jiwon, but Sometimes his mental issues make him take power decisions, Hugh said, and continue. He later realized crushed himself when he himself for doing all those things from but when his mental issues showed up Adam will be back to the stubborn Adam. I'm so sorry he caused you so much trouble. He did not mentioned to do it but this illness made him he is truly so sorry for everything he caused in your life he is now in canada getting treatment thank you so much Hugh said Hugh bid his goodbye after apologizing for his 
for more than 100 times. Junk grasped his head on the back of his chair by closing his eyes. Sting message from darling hubby. I did awesome in my jam. It's time for you to keep your promise, hubby. So we will have an awesome heart tonight. Two, I am more than ready to keep my promise, darling. I am waiting for the night, hubby. You don't need to. I will pick you up. Should not be left to keep your promise, darling. Hubby, coming, darling. Waiting. After the month, Leah is still in coma. Adam is in Canada far from Jungkook and Taehyung. He got treated for his mental illness and started living there as he was so embarrassed to show his face to Taehyung after what he done. There is also some news that Adam found a new love in Canada. Jungkook is busy with his work and living a lovely life with his husband Taehyung. Thanks exams are over. It's time for his graduation. Graduation day. Habi Tang Vinad looking at his reflection on the mirror. He was he wore semi formal for his graduation day. He wore a white shirt and blue jeans and matching shoes. He is still confused about whether he should wear a tie or not. Finally he decided to wear a tie but he they can't tie it properly. Oh, may help you, Janko. Walk to him with his usual clothes, formal suit for work. Janko made Tang face him and started untying the tie to tie it back properly. Tang stood there watching Janko closing, closing as he is trying to tie his tie appreciating every little gesture of Jungkook. Don't look at me like that, Jungkook snapped. Look at you like what? Then ask with an innocent part. Don't look. Give me that look. Jungkook said again. Which look? Then said, batting his sunny eyelashes. Jungkook leaned forward and cast Thang's sleeve with his Thang ripped right away they start kissing like there is no tomorrow Janko pulled back before they could go further let's go i don't want you to be late for your graduation day Janko said resisting his horse to capture his lips again let's go then replied by putting his black gun and a cup a cap after an hour at the start of the ceremony, Jungkook's graduation and guests are asking to stand while the academy processes enters the hall. Ceremony staff will ask graduation to move from the seat to sit side of the stage and then onto the stage for preparation here. Presentation here, one of the guests at the graduation ceremony of Seoul University is Jan Jungkook, the young and talented businessman who is role model for upcoming youth. Counselor started calling up and name of the graduate and a student representative gave a valid address during the ceremony on behalf of the graduates. The Thanked family and friends for attending the ceremony and usually give a heartfelt speech about his experience over the last few years. It's time for Thang Jian Thang graduate for of economics. Thang walk up to stage and shook his head and with the counselor the, and the guest along with Jungkook. Jungkook flew a wink at Thang. As he shook his hand with Tang Tang blushed at that, Consula handed his diploma and it's time for Tang to give an speech to the representative of the economics students. He thanked the previous speaker, began the gratitude and grace. I good morning everyone and all and this is Jian Jung Jian Tang graduate of economics it's been four years time flew quickly i 
He still remember the day I entered the uni. I met some fabulous friends here. I had made some unforgettable memories here. Good ones though. Some one had said this. Life is like a river. You can't touch the same water twice because the flow that passed never come, never pass again. Followed that, I enjoyed every moment of my university. There are some times which are not so happy. But still, it is life. The thing I want to say that is, we have done a lot of a lot here with our friends. It's time for us to live a real life in the real world. Don't back up. Go on, chase your dreams. Thank you so much, everyone. With that, I am walked on if of the stage, but not before smiling at his husband. After the ceremony, you did awesome back there, Jungkook said by kissing the side of her thang. Thang said, they are standing in front of the uni. There are a lot of students along with their family and friends taking pictures, congratulating each other, hugging, kissing, smiling as they are receiving flowers from their loved ones. I will be back in a minute. Thang said as he walked to his friends, meanwhile the university head and some staff approached Jungkook, the businessman, he idiot, Thang sang as he wished his friends. Hello, Mr. Jian, they said in a teasing tone, for which Thang laughed. So, when are you flying off to London, huh? Thang asked, oh, hello, I am going to York. But again, I know, I know, when are you flying together? Hello, Mr. Jian, they said in a teasing tone for which they have loved. So, when are you flying off London, hun? They have asked, oh, hello, I am going to York. But again, I know, I know, when you are flying together, they have asked, this weekend, you got a job in law firm in London. I wanted to work as a chef, as you all know, so I decided to work in a restaurant in London. What about you, Hana? Jung Thang asked, this time me, going back to my country, I missed my home, Hana said, and you guys should visit too, you will love it, Hana. She added, sure we will, they said, okay then, we need to go, now we have to fly this weekend. Lots of work is here to be done, Han said. You can, you can Han bid the goodbye, followed by Hana, but not before talking, taking some pictures. Then walk back to Jungkook, who is taking, talking with some Thang's professors. Jungkook took him close with his hands around Thang's way from the side, kissing his. Congratulations, darling, Jungkook said this time by kissing his cheeks from side, they blushed and felt more nervous as his professor are still watching them. You don't need to be nervous, them. You are no longer a student at uni now. You know you don't need to worry about PDA. In front of professors, the head said with a crunch, them smile. Jungkook and then with their goodbye with them after a few times. Few minutes, Jungkook and Thang started walking towards the parking. Jungkook climbed to the driver's seat and they took off their car to the road. They started their sweet talk like usual when they were alone. So, what are you planning to do next? Jungkook asked. What do you think? Thang asked. Um, I think maybe like coming out. As VN started painting again, Jungkook replied after a couple of seconds thinking, actually I don't think so, I never wanted to choose my painting as my career, it's just my hobby, I want to be painter whenever I feel like the young replied, oh, Jungkook said, suddenly Jungkook eyes light up, something hit his brain. Let's go with your story choice, Jungkook said. Huh? Thang asked, glancing at Jungkook to 
I he said work with me in my company jungle said why does he sounds like order but not like an offer the young asked because it's not an offer I want you to work with me jungle greener probably like there there is nothing behind his wish as you wish the young accepted wish my jungle green more and more what is it the young asked but jungle shook his head and looked back at the road but he did not stop smiling like an idiot that night so why are you so happy today you did not stop laughing for the minute we stepped out of the car the young asked they are lying next to each other on the couch in the living room watching oxygen the series but the young could not help but notice this weird behavior of jungkook who can't stop smelling at all i'm excited jungkook said finally excited for what then he stopped it leaning on jungkook's shoulder so he could watch jungkook's face but jungkook pulled him near again not wanting to lose the heat grinning from his body okay i will tell you but he should not jungko stop it in mid sentence no promise thank said he took lee um, okay jungko said but he started smiling again what's that thing i said looking at jungko who is smiling like an idiot out of nowhere you know i want to you to work with me jungko started yeah thank said i want to kiss you whenever you visit my cabin i want to make love with you on my table after everyone leaving the company after jungko said dreamily what the queen said looking at jungko like he is a crazy or something i want to freak you over my table in the in my cabin jungko brushed out the young brushed out of laughter you want to me to work with you so that you can freak me over your table the young repeated with a smile and surprise head young said pointing a finger at the young who stood up from the couch now walking over to the kitchen you don't know how desperate i am for your graduation so that you can freak me over the table while we walk together the young completed jungle sentence by walking to the kitchen with jungle following behind him again with the young why are you so excited about it the young stopped at the dining table and turned around his back he is touching to the table now jungle is excited in front of the young i am uh, hungry i am hungry for office remain jungko said in low voice but by moving forward and bringing the young body near him and his hand around the young's waist i'm uh, hungry for you the young mumbled for jungko replied with a kiss it was a slow and gentle one moving their lips slowly and smile like they have the whole world for them lips on lips body on body heat heart on heart they breathe have leaven they but it pull back from kissing by joining their foreheads smiling hello you darling i love you so much jungko said by tightening the grip around his waist i love you so much abhi they have a smile by leaning forward for another kiss this is their life from a simple childhood crush to husbands being together in sad and happy moments loving her again kissing and hugging hits them is their love and matters love again cared and more much more this is how they arrange marriage went then everyone how was it did you enjoy this ff i hope you did and if you have any doubt you can comment it down i will reply you also the next story is going to be a punch up at and his cross his school cross so but it is not going to be angst and violence it is going to be fluffy and lovely i hope you will enjoy it too so
keep waiting for that bye bye